Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Mania. So, oh, well, on the 28th of July, I had posted a crop to Sudoku on my website. And the start was a bit tricky for that. And quite a few people could not, uh, kind of, you can say, could not find the breakthrough. And I received a few requests asking me to just create a walkthrough on it. I know we have already covered a couple of crofties earlier, but as and when there is a tricky and a nice, uh, what do you say, puzzle that comes along, we do have, end up repeating them. And since a lot of people had left this puzzle halfway because they would just not find the breakthrough, I thought, let's oblige them and create a walkthrough. Because for me personally, a puzzle per se is not difficult on its own. It's only the breakthrough or the starting point that we need to find that determines whether the puzzle is going to be easy or tough because the longer it takes us to find the breakthrough the difficult it appears so let's have a quick look and you might be aware of the rules i'll still go ahead and say that digits cannot repeat in a row column or a three by three box additionally if the difference between two adjacent cells is one then those two cells are separated by a white dot and if the digit, digit one digit is half the other digit then they are separated by a black dot and all possible dots are marked now the relationship between one and two is you can also treat them as consecutive or one is twice the other so when you have one and two in two adjacent cells it can contain either a black or a white dot all right so let's have a quick look at one. now we have very minimal <coughs> black dots and we do not see a chain of more than one black dots you know which would have easily helped us identify where one two four and eight would come but i do see that there are a couple of instances where there are two black dots and their cells are connected by a white dot. You remember what we had learned earlier, in such a scenario, the digit three will definitely be one of them, right? So this can be two, three, four, two, three, four, one, two, six, eight, one, two, four, six, eight. These are the other possibilities, correct? Now, what it means is, the digit, since three is going to be in one of these two cells, the digit six is logged in either row one, column four, or row four, uh, sorry, row three, column five, and the six cannot be placed anywhere else in the box, all right? Now, how does this help us? Now, when I look in box two, this is where the starting point of the puzzle was. There is a chain of three consecutive digits because you have two white dots, right? Now, with 3 and 6 both being blocked in these four cells, 1 and 2 can never be part of these because then that would require a 3. 4 and 5 again cannot be a part of this because I cannot have 3 or a 6 to complete the chain. Hence, the digits 1 to 6 will never be in the chain of these three cells which leaves me with only one set of triplets that is 7, 8 and 9. So we can safely place the 8 followed by a 7 and a 9. Right? And this is where the starting point of the puzzle was. Now, the digit 5 in the box has to be one of these two, right? And since 6 is locked with the black dots, this can only be a 4 and a 5, which eliminates the 4 from the cells and 8 also will never be part of it because we already got the 8. So this becomes a pair of 2 and 3. So I get a pair of 1 and 6 here. Good enough. What next? Now, 4 cannot be a part of this black cell which automatically eliminates the 8. So this can either be a 3, 6 or a this 3, 6 or 1, 2, but I cannot have a 1 here because if this will be a 2, I can't place any other digit here. 
So this is a 2, 3, 6. And with 2, I can have a 1. With 3, I can have a 2. And for 6, I can have a 5. Because, uh, sorry, 7. Not 5, 7. Because 4 and 5 are already logged in column 6. Right? Now, now comes a second tricky step that was required. Let's have a look at this black dot. Now the black dot can only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 8. Right? 2 and 3 are already logged in the column. So that leaves me with 1, 4, 6 and 8. I cannot have a 1 because this cell has 2 adjacent digits. Correct? Right? So I can't have a 2 and 2 here. That leaves me with 4, 6 and 8. Now if this was an 8, this would be a 7, 6, this would become a 9, which would push an 8 here. Correct? But since you have 2, 8 and this would be a 4, but there is no black dot here. Correct? Now this might appear like a trial and error, but let me explain to you how we eliminate since there is no black dot here in this, what it means is if this was say 4, 6 and 8 would make this 5, 7 and 9, right? Because I can't have the 3. This digit cannot repeat here. Reason is if this was a repetition, whatever comes here would share the same relationship. That is the relationship between these two cells would be the same as these two. But since there is no black dot, we know for sure this cannot repeat here. So I can safely eliminate the 9 and 8 from here. Correct? Because if this was a 7, 8, I can't have a 9 and a 10. Correct? So if this is 4, 5, this would have to be in the same incremental order going up to 6 or 6, 5, 4 or 6, 7, but if this is a 5, 6, 7 and 8 is not possible because you already got an 8. So this 5 will be, always be with the 4 in a decreasing order. 5, 4, 3, 2. And for 7, obviously it will be 6, 5, 4. Correct? So either this chain of 4 cells would be 2, 3, 4, 5 or 4, 5, 6, 7. In turn that would be 6 and 8. 8. Right? So if this is a 6, this would be a 3. If it's an 8, it, this would be a 4. And with this 4 and 6, I can have a 3, 2 and 8. Right? But, now comes the second tricky part. Or rather the third step, <laughs> which actually gives us the final breakthrough in the puzzle. This is a 3 or a 4, right? If this is 3, this would be 2, 4. But if this is a 4, this would be 3, 5. Irrespective of which digit comes here, 3 and 4 are logged in these 3 cells. Right? Which means this cannot be a 3. It's only 2 and an 8. Which eliminates the 6 from here. So that 7 goes out, the 8 goes out, and this becomes a 3. So 5, oh sorry. So I get the chain of 5, 4, 3 and 2. So if this is a 3, this is 2, 4, 2, 4. But with the 2 here, this is a 4, so that becomes a 5. And that's a 2. And with 6, 7, I will have, sorry, with 6, I will have a 7. You got a 2, so that's an 8. There goes a 9 and a 1 because there's no white cell here. Correct? Now that we have opened up the puzzle, it solves smoothly from here. Now let's see what will be the cell here. Or rather this 7 is locked in this. If this is a 7, this will be a 6. Or if this is a 7, this has to be a 8. Which basically makes this a 9 and that's a 7. Correct? And with the 7 gone, this has to be a 7 cannot be here. Which eliminates the 6 from there and the 3. Alright, so if this is a 3, this will be a 6. If that's a 2, this will be a 1. 
this can be a three. One. Sorry. All right. So let's have a look at it. Why oh, cannot have a one here? But can I have a one here? No, because that would make this a two, and the two is already logged in the path. So this cannot be a one. This cannot be a one. This is my one. That's a six, three, and a two. And since we have a two here, okay, this becomes a seven and an eight then. And with the two, there's no black dot here, right? So we can eliminate the four. This becomes a five and a four. And since there's again, there's no white dot, the six is eliminated. So that's a two, three, and a six. And with this three, this will become a two because I already got a four there. I can't have a 1 because again that would become a 2, so that's a 4. 3 is not possible, so that's a 5. Right? Now I'm left with 6 and 9. So this is a 6 and a 9 because 5, there's no white dot. That's an 8 and a 4. And the column 4 has 1 and 7 missing. So again, I place the 1 in between because there's no white dot. And this again cannot be a 5 for the same reasons. So you get a 4, 9, 5. Right? So row 7, missing are 3, 4, and 8. So 4 and 8 will share the 1 is to 2 ratio. So that's a 3. And since there's no white dot, that's a 4 and a 8. This will be a 7, 9. This will be a 7, 9. So that places a 1 here with a 2 here. Because with 1 and 3 already there in the box, I can't have the 2 beside. Right? 5, 6, 5, 6, but the 7 is there, so that's a 5 and a 6. Now, what can I have? 1 and 2 is not possible for this black box. 4 is not possible, so that has to be 3 and a 6. We got a 3 here, so that's a 6, 3, that's a 4, 8, 4, and with a 5 there, this has to be a 3 and a 2. By classic rules, 2, 2. That's a 2. And in row 3, 6, 7, 9 are missing. So that's my 9, 6, and 7. 9 cannot be here. It cannot be beside the 8. So that's my 9. 5 again has to be here. So that's a 7 and a 1 because we got a 1. And the last digit, 5. 5, 5. 5 can never be with black dot. Can I have a 6 here? No, but that would make this a 3, and we already got the 3 there, right? So that's a 4 with an 8, because the 2 is already in the middle. So that's my 8, 1, 3. And since there's no white dot, that's a 6 and a 7. This becomes a 6 with a final 2. Here. So that's how this works. You know, it's always the start that's a bit tricky and difficult to find. Okay, so missing numbers are 6 and 7. You got a 6 here, so that's a 7. That's a 6. 9, 9. This becomes a 9. That's my 9. That's a 7. Missing are 1 and 3. 3 and 1, because we got this. And that's my 1 with the last digit 8. So you see, in a croppy Sudoku, it's always the start that is the most important. And we always need to re remember the relationships between the blacks and the white dots, especially look for longer chains where there is a very limited scope of a set of digits to be placed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and this will give you more insights on how to tackle the croppies. Well, if you did enjoy the video, do like it, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. So, the link to solve this online, I am placing it in the description. So, in case you want to solve it again, try it out. Do go ahead. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if there is any other specific variant you want me to cover, please mention that in the comments. So, till the next time. Happy solving!